Welcome to the Radio Silly Video Report. Subscribe at youtube.com slash Radio Silly to be alerted when we upload new video reports. The video report in association with Carnveen Tea Rooms. There's a treat waiting for you on your walk around St Mary's. Spoil yourself at Carnveen Cafe with a break for morning coffee, lunch or afternoon tea, inside or in a large garden close to Pellistry Beach. Try our large selection of fresh cakes and delicious cream teas. We have a large range of sandwiches, toasted sandwiches and jacket potatoes. Or pick up one of our proper Cornish steak pasties. Anne and Frank are waiting to welcome you every day from 10 until 5 at Carnveen Cafe and Tea Garden. 13 council and specifically recruited staff were involved in the general election on the Isles of Scilly. It's quite an expensive exercise, but the cost is borne by the Ministry of Justice and not local council taxpayers. Part of the problem is that ballot boxes have to be moved from the off-islands. On the mainland constituencies, of course, that the polling stations are generally linked by road. Sue Pritchard organises elections at the Town Hall. She says it can be quite a challenge. And here it is slightly more difficult because, of course, it's water and we have to get boats to do everything that anybody else would jump in a car and do. One of the unusual aspects of an election in Scilly is the lack of party political election campaigning posters that are commonplace on the mainland. Despite that, there's always a high degree of turnout on our islands and Sue says it's because people like to do things differently here. I think there's a, a great interest in particularly local politics here, which is non-political, but also, um, I think people are interested in, obviously, what's going to happen with the country as a whole. Nobody has ever really formed a political party over here. But I guess that's just one of the features of island life, that we are different and we look at things in a different way and think, perhaps, um, I will turn out, I will vote, but I don't necessarily want my neighbour to know what I'm going to vote. The ballot boxes were transferred from St Mary's to the off-islands. And then after the election, carried back to St Mary's and kept in a secure place overnight before being moved to the mainland by air. Sue tells Radio Silly that they've had to have a plan B in case of fog disruption or volcanic ash affecting flights. If that's the case, they go to the mainland by boat. The count for Silly always takes place after the count on the mainland. Most people find out who their MP is on Thursday night or early on Friday morning. But the election count for Silly taking place on Friday because of the difficulty in bringing the ballot boxes from the off-islands. And the count at Cornwall's Carnbray Leisure Centre can't start until the island papers arrive because it would be possible to identify how Silly voted otherwise and the result must be declared for the entire constituency.